Robert and Elizabeth Strawbridge came from Ireland to America around 1760. And once they settled here, Robert got on his horse and rode, and he proclaimed the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, his wife stayed home, but she was more than simply a homemaker. She was an individual who loved Jesus Christ. She witnessed, is often given credit for the first convert to Wesleyan Methodism that took place in the area. We would like for people to visit the Strawbridge Shrine. At the same time, we want them to take away an appreciation of the enthusiasm that Robert and Elizabeth had, which is much needed in our church today. Not only can you tour the buildings and get a feel for what it was like in the 1760s and the 1770s, but you have the opportunity to feel the, the presence of Robert and Elizabeth Strawbridge in these grounds. We offer, uh, first and foremost, uh, the Strawbridge House the house where Robert and Strawbridge lived and where they held the first class meetings of the precursor to the Methodist uh, churches that uh, dot the area. We also have um, a replica of the log meeting house which was constructed in the 1980s. We have a facility of physical um, uh, buildings uh, which represent the area in which Strawbridge has lived. Uh, we offer uh, an opportunity for people to tour this site. Uh, confirmation classes particularly uh, receive uh, an opportunity to hear about the beginnings of Methodism. We have found especially young people, confirmation kids, are deeply impressed by the faith. Some of them thought all they were doing was coming to an, uh, some, type, some kind of an old settlement to take a walk through some old buildings, only to find that what we have here is a very contemporary, very living, very active, and vital ministry to share to people about how to live the faith today. I've done many, many tours, and I've had many people comment about the effect that this type of place has had on them because they too would feel the spirit of Robert and Elizabeth Strawbridge which was very important to them and uh, have come back some of them and said you know I really had my mind changed after I was there and I took the tour of the buildings and I think a lot of it is because they actually can walk through the buildings, walk the grounds, and just feel the spirit. We not only uh, maintain and have buildings uh, uh, which represent the era of the Straw Bridges, but we're trying to recreate the passion and the ministry and the love of Christ that they had as well. We honestly believe that when people walk in this location, they not only have a sense of history, but they have a sense of what the future of the church might be. From the, from the enthusiasm of Robert and Elizabeth Strawbridge to their preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, to the opportunity to, uh, to develop a lay ministry uh, in the community and, and even beyond. We believe that's why the future of the Strawbridge Shrine should remain strong because it gives people the opportunity to take a look at what was and what can be in the church today.